Welcome to uh, drinking on Friday, Beanie Baby Reese, whatever we're calling this thing. Uh, Beanie How about Baby the Bourbon Puzzle. The, hey, uh, that might work. It's also the Beanie yeah. Baby uh, Friday afternoon because that's <laughs> essentially what we're having right yeah, now. Yeah, we got something special this time. Yeah, this is a Beanie Baby. It's not quite the uh, purple polka dotted elephant, uh, which was the. Uh, that was the what? that was the Beanie Baby that nobody could. Oh, buy. oh, okay. That, right. And they had people that were they were taking the white elephant and dyeing them, and then painting. You're spots. kidding me. Oh, a hundred percent. Oh my gosh, I've never heard about about this. So, I, well, I watched something some documentary on <laughs> Beanie Babies. <laughs> oh my! And, uh, I, and every once I remember back when Beanie Babies were popular, you could drive around and there would be a car. You pull up and there's <laughs> the back, you know, liner yeah. window. Of yeah, they had all up babies. in the back window. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And the tag, you couldn't fold the tag, or your yep. kids would chew on the tag and get them all watery. How many windows got smashed in by a hammer because of that? Well, I remember they had the uh, like the little plastic that went around the tag, so you couldn't yeah. fold yeah, it. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, like yeah, you yeah, put yeah. a baseball Gosh. card really? in or something? Right, yeah. Oh, yeah. They had like little, uh, they had, like, little plastic sleeves that went around yeah. the, the tags. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So, anyway, uh, speaking of Beanie Babies, here's one, right? Um, now, this is actually really good stuff, but uh, this is a Beanie Baby one. Um, and actually, we saw. I, I took a picture. I was in a went into a bourbon place, a small, mm -hmm. and I sent Chris. This is a Friday afternoon, I think. Yeah, it was. And I I looked up, and there's all the Wellers across uh, the top. They were. I think this one was. Was this a thousand dollar one? Or no, what? this one was. Uh, I think three fifty. You know what? I tell you what. No, three ninety nine. Uh, Miss producer yeah. can throw this picture up in post production. I, I'll I'll give it to her. Yeah, but it was like, come on, the prices are the prices are outrageous. Okay, anyway. so full disclosure. This is my absolute favorite at any price. This is not worth three fifty four hundred dollars no. a bottle. That, that's no. crazy. None of them are. No, they're beanie babies. But anyway, it's besides the point. All right, so we're doing Weller Twelve. Actually, uh, Miss Producer will throw that up there. Bottle, uh, the picture of the bottle. It's kind of cool. Uh, but anyway, you want to have you have a story behind? I mean, obviously it's your favorite, but. Well, okay. So you had thrown the challenge up there when we did the Bullet Ten, which yeah. is your personal favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, Bullet Ten is not readily available but if you look around you'll find yeah. it and you'll yeah. find it a reasonable price uh weller 12 year is mine the but it's impossible to find i got lucky uh i was actually on my way somewhere else i get most everything at the local liquor store close to my house out in shelbyville um and this is the benefit of working with a small place as opposed to big box my wife walked in and the owner said your husband likes weller doesn't he i don't know why he would know that because i've never bought it from him Right, um, but he said, "Here's he knows here's, that because everybody likes here, well, well, maybe that's, that's what it is. Yeah, that's but true. he said, you know, thanks for being good patrons. Here's a bottle of Weller 12 year old for eighty dollars. So she she called me because I was out of town, and she said, do you want a bottle of Weller 12? No context for seventy nine ninety nine, and I said, buy every single bottle yeah. the guys got." Yeah. Right. Which of course it was a limit one, but uh, that's how I managed to get my hands on this because yeah. I absolutely yeah. love this stuff. It is good. So interesting enough, we we literally just poured it a few minutes ago, and I, mm. I had forgotten because I don't. This is not something I drink every day, but I've forgotten how sweet it smells. Yeah. So first thing I did was I poured it and went, and it was like, oh my gosh, it is like way over the top, smelling sweet. It. I mean, it's like pungent. No, not a bad way. Not, I mean, not, nothing like that. Oh, it smells it's, delicious. Oh, yeah. It yeah. is like yeah, it really, does. really, really, really super sweet. Um, but that's just the smell you get. And again, we, you know, we've tried some. I remember the Three Keys, which is probably the second one we ever yeah, had. Yeah, I think it was second. It was so harsh. I was like, God, I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to be able to get this thing down. <laughs> but it tasted really good, mm -hmm. right? So, right? That was a three-year, yeah. too. So, you, so you've had this. Oh, I've, yeah. I've yeah. not had 12-year. I've, right. yeah. I've not had the black label. I've had the, the green, the red, and the blue label. Okay, so the, the green we've done on the show, that's the special yes. reserve, that's the entry level. The red is the Antique 107, which is actually very, very good. Yeah. Uh, and the blue label is the foolproof, which, depending on who you talk to, they would prefer the foolproof over the 12 or vice versa. Yeah, so I've had all three of those. All excellent. I've never yeah. had the 12 year. I mean, this is a unicorn. It, 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 yeah. So I've not had this one at all. You had this one? Yep, I have had this one. Okay, so. So, and we're already teasing Aaron now that we're getting through the... Uh, the most favorites. Aaron's gonna have to bring in the birthday bourbon, yep. so we'll we'll bring in little hats and well maybe we'll have a cake. Okay. Uh, Eric, do you have a favorite? I don't think I've ever heard you say. I, I don't have a favorite, no. So you get to make one up and just claim it. 
I mean, if you wanted me to claim a favorite, I've had Pappy 23. Okay, all right. And I, I drank it like water. It was so smooth. I yeah. mean, so if, if I had to have pick a favorite, that would be my favorite. But that's kind of cheating. Everyone. Pappy, yeah, of course. Right? Yeah. So <clears throat> actually, I, I've had them all, and I don't much care for them. So I think there's others that are, you know, the, to me, Bullet 10 just as good as the Pappy mm -hmm. 23. I think this is just as good. That 1910 we had, I think, is just as good as any of the Pappies, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah that was just, that's good. just that's just my my taste palette. Yeah. It was good, but it wasn't four thousand dollars good. I mean, if I had to pick was. a favorite, Eagle Rare would be the other one because it yeah, well, was really because I used too. to I used to drink that all the time yeah. when you could actually find it, and then everyone else found out how delicious it is, and so you, and you can never find Eagle Rare anymore. While we're on the subject, we were just talking about Pappy. Uh, for those people that don't know, remember that all of the Wellers the exact same mash bill as Pappy. These go in the same barrels, and then they decide which barrels they're going to turn into Pappy and which barrels they're going to turn into Weller and how long they're going to let them sit and whether they're going to water them down or leave it uh, barrel strength when it comes out. So yeah. this is the same mash bill as all of the Pappy Van Winkle. <clears throat> yeah, and actually one night I was at uh, my friend, uh, Mr. Banks. Uh, we happened to be at his house one night, and I sent a picture to Chris because he yeah. had all the Wellers there except for the CYOB or C... Yeah, the C white label. Yes, the white label. CYOB. CYOB. He had... And the reason it came up and the reason why we had kind of a sampling was because his... Somebody, he's somebody. I think it may have been his son. I think found a bottle of it mm -hmm. and said, "Hey, is this one you need?" And he's like, "Absolutely." So now the only one he has left is the single barrel. Yeah, or, the orange label. The orange label. Yeah. That's the only he doesn't have. Um, so we had them all. That one's but, pretty new, though. Yeah, he doesn't have that one. And then, uh, but he got the, the he got the white label though. Yeah, the creator your perfect he, bourbon. He has it, but he didn't have it that night. Yeah, but we we were all sitting down. We just kind of sampled all of them, so it's pretty good. But he had the twelve yeah. and all that, so that's a his go to too. He's that's one of his favorites. But anyway, it was good. I, I have had this one by the way side by side with the foolproof blue label, and they are both outstanding. I like this one better by a fraction. You know, just yeah. I, I think if 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 you didn't know which one was which, uh, obviously the foolproof is a lot hotter. Um, you're going to struggle to pick one. Because they're both pretty good. This is the one that I really don't even want to water down, but I'm going to just because, I mean, I've had it before. Yeah. So Chris, I kind of know what Chris it's like. Chris cringes. I, saw, I just saw his. Well, I'm not putting Coke in it. No. You no. Wouldn't and, 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 no. and I'm going to try something that, different. For the, for the people that have never seen, uh, if you've never been to Buffalo Trace to go on one of the tours, or you've never seen the documentary Neat, uh, probably the greatest tour guide in this industry is a guy named uh, Freddie Johnson. So if you go up to Buffalo Trace and you buy the root beer or the ginger beer or the ginger ale, it's called Freddy's. It's named after this guy. I got just totally lucky a uh, week before last and got to go on a special tour up there, and he did it. And he did the tasting with us. Something interesting that he said when you're doing your tasting. And he was very clear. If you like ice, you should put ice in it. There's nothing wrong with any of these things. It's the way you like it. But instead of pouring water or ice into your bourbon, which I've had this with ice and I've had it neat. I like it better neat. He suggested put just a little bit of water in your mouth and then put a little bit of bourbon in there and see what it tastes like. Because if you pour the water or the ice into the bourbon, you can't take it out if it's too much. Yeah. So I'm going to actually try that with this one, which I have not done. I know I like this better neat, without question. But that's not the same as chilling it, right? It's not the same. No, it's not the same. It's similar. This... Uh, I, I mean, I, I did use bit. cold water. Yeah. Well, yeah. Right. So it's, but no. It, to your point, it's not the same as making it cold. Again, another way to try every bourbon is maybe put a little water in your mouth and put a little bourbon in there just to water it down without uh, without chilling it. There's all kinds of different ways to do this. I mean, it's just really whatever you want to do. But I guess the point behind doing this and the reason why we tried all neat and cold is because just to get people to say, okay, let's try a bourbon in multiple yeah. ways to find out if we like it. I'll tell you this one, now that I put a cube in there, I don't like it as much. Yeah, this is much better neat. Yeah. And, and you saw me push the water away. It tasted good, but it didn't. What I like about this one, and this is fairly typical of 12 year old bourbons, there's so much going on. They're extremely complex, and I like that. This took a lot of that out of it, especially since it's a weeded bourbon. It made it very gentle, you know what I mean? And, and, and it took a lot away from it. This is I like that good. word. You're trying to be fancy on a Friday afternoon. It's gentle. Well, uh, come up with a better word. I'm, I'm I don't. I don't have a better word for you. <laughs> I actually don't have a better word. That was it just. It's just interesting. Um, so that I, I actually, I, I wouldn't. Uh, 
I mean, I'm gonna finish the rest of this because Chris will kill me if I don't. Yeah. But uh, but I, I don't much. <laughs> but honestly, I just I don't much care for it. Water down. I mean, cold, chill and water down. Oh yeah, because you put the ice. I put cream a in cube in it. Yeah. I don't. It's. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> Chris yeah. was looking at the table when you said you don't much care for it. His head went, <laughs> looked over. You were insane. I don't. <laughs> I didn't realize you'd already put a cube in no, it. Okay. It's yeah. A, yeah. No, it's no. Oh, I like it. No, don't get me wrong. I like it. It's not something that I would go stand in line for. Right. Um, you know, back when we did the whole burgers thing, we're like, would you drive from Oldham County, where I live, to go get a burger? Right. You know, some burgers, yes. And one place, uh, Great Flood, I go there all the time, specifically to eat their hamburger. Yeah. Um, but this is not somewhere I would go stand in line for two hours to get a bottle because I crave it so much. I, I, I mean, it was good. It was really good. Mm -hmm. But I'd rather go spend 50 bucks on a 1910, which I like much better than I do this. Uh, but that's just me. That's just my flavor. Fair enough. Palette. Watering it down, I literally went from I don't know, maybe a seven to a five. I just mm -hmm. I just don't. Yeah, I don't it. think it has a strong enough flavor profile to water it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. agree. And yeah, hundred percent. Right. And and that comes back to the concept of putting just a little, just a sip of water in your mouth, and then a sip of the bourbon, and then yeah. finding out if you like it. So you don't you don't ruin a good pour. And another suggestion, and this goes back to what you're talking about with chilling it, is actually get like some ice chips. And yeah, put a couple right. of chips of ice in your mouth so you're not watering down too yeah. much. See, and, how, and kind of working with that until you find that combination that you like the best. Yeah. There's no wrong way to do this mm -hmm. except the way that you don't like. That's wrong. No, putting mix. if you put ginger ale in here, you, you should be banned from ever buying bourbon. Yeah, ever okay, yeah. In oh, number 12, honest. yes. There's a lot of them that way. There's a, there's a lot of good ones for that purpose, but this is not one of them. Yeah. Forty dollar bottle. Okay, put all the ginger ale you want in there, but we have what caffeine free diet you, coke. What about ale? Right? No, ale. <laughs> That's Kentucky, right? You know, you can do ale. Ale. I'm sorry, I can say this because of what day it is today. Only a UK fan would do that with ale. Yeah. <laughs> well, then, okay, then every Tennessee fan put Jack in there. Or Jack, uh, yeah, they, they would, but the, I don't. I didn't bring any Jack. Yep. You know, we should have We should have done Jack today. We should have. No, uh, no that's see. tomorrow night after the game. Oh, <laughs> Do you like Jack Daniels? Uh, the regular, no. But the yeah. Gentleman Jack is actually I, very good, and the single player is I great. Like, I like both. Yeah. I like them both. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it, it, and, and contrary to popular belief, it is a bourbon. It's just not Kentucky bourbon. And it's uh, charcoal filtered, yeah, so it makes it, it makes it a little mild. Takes oh, yeah, out. come on oh, in. there he is. <laughs> we got a visitor. Hang on. We got a visitor. Go get an extra <laughs> cup. Go get Somebody go get a cup. Hey, you're just oh, in time. The last time you were here, you came in in the middle of an episode. Oh, you guys are <laughs> No, we're live. Yeah, we're live. We're, right? yeah, we're live. No, 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 no. Yes, you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, are. You, uh -huh. you want some of this. I do. I do. Yeah. How, how, how convenient you show up. Yeah. You, <laughs> you probably text Aaron's like, hey, dude, when are you going to be Actually, he's been texting me. I don't think I've even replied, though. I heard something. <laughs> <laughs> it might not be you, but somebody's been texting me. <laughs> Did we get, somebody get him a cup? Are we going to get yeah, one? Whitney, Whitney okay. got yeah, Whitney Yeah, Whitney ran to get one, so we're still know, running, man. so. Yeah, that's got Ryan, me. come in here. Aaron, why don't you introduce Ryan again for the people who haven't uh, seen him yet. Come on in, man. Uh oh here we go. There you go, my man. Thank you, sir. Ryan's been a guest. Uh, he has. He's been yeah, a guest yeah. on a couple of episodes, yeah. 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 Here you go. We did, we did his, we did his uh, Four Roses, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Which was really good. It went for yeah. bourbon and bow ties, right? Is that it? Yeah. That's the event? You went, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of cool. I see you watching his pour over there, Chris. <laughs> He's eyeballing it, eh? No, bur bourbon, is, bourbon is for friends, so you have as much as you want. Oh, we're in the inner circle. <laughs> You're in the inner circle. That, yeah. <laughs> so we've we, not... What, we haven't rated, rated it. Have, yeah. you, have, have you had Willard's Well? I've had Willard's Well. Okay, okay. And yeah. what's, your, what's your thoughts on it? It's good stuff. It is yeah. good, yeah. isn't it? I'll, I'll give you my unofficial... Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So we've been, we've been talking about Beanie Babies and... Refer oh, my referring. gosh. Referring to Vinny Babies and uh, and uh, bourbon, so this is this is not quite the purple purple polka dot elephant, but it's close because you can't find it. Super expensive when you buy it. Mm -hmm. you Do know. you know that reference? I, I don't. I, don't I remember it. briefly, but I'm not the specific. I'm so color. glad you don't yeah. really know because I don't remember. Yeah. This. <laughs> we'll talk about that off air. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I remember yeah. Beanie Babies being a thing, but I don't remember. Yeah, I don't that. remember that yeah. one. Yeah. There's actually a documentary I saw on it. That's I don't know about the per. I, I didn't collect them, but. I just know about the purple polka dotted elephant. Oh, okay. You want to talk? Oh, what's so okay, yeah, the picture? It'll be right. in, yeah, it'll, it'll, right. it'll be in uh, post production. She'll put that All right. right. All right, let's go. Rate it. What do you think? Eight. 
I give it a nine. I think that it's got, you know, from my opinion, it's hey, got just about everything you're wanting yeah. out yeah. of a bourbon. Uh, it's got the flavor. Um, it's got the smell. You, you don't have to put rocks or ice in there, you know, yeah. at all. Yeah. And what most people, when they're drinking bourbon, the finish is good. Yeah. I mean, you don't, this is, to your point, you don't need to put ginger ale. You don't need oh, to no. put a Coke. No. You don't need, this tastes better than all that. Yeah. So why I agree. would you ever mix it with anything? Yeah, so. I agree. Yeah, that, <clears throat> to me, it, again, ice, five. I, I didn't, I don't like yeah, it. I don't not like good. it at all. Um, but with ice, or without neat, uh, with neat, no, at neat, not with something. Um, God, Friday. It's a late Friday, man. <laughs> good Lord. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say probably seven and a half, only because it's just not my flavoring. It's not your thing. Yeah. It's just not my thing. But it's very, very good. But again, I'm not paying $300 for it for having it in retail. Uh, okay, obviously this is my favorite. Uh, I have yet to have a 10, but this is a nine and a half. Yeah. Uh, but $350, $400? Yeah. No. Yeah. And quite frankly, if, if any one of us paid $350, $400 for any bottle of bourbon, how many of our clients would fire us as clients? Because either they're paying us too much or we're not very good with money, or maybe both, right? Or you're buying a Beanie Baby. Right, or we're buying Beanie Babies. All right, what do you but think? I would not drink this with, with water or ice, by the way, yeah. under any circumstances. Got it. What do you got, Ryan? I, I am a big fan of Weller. I love yeah. weeded bourbons. This is a weeded bourbon. Um, all bourbons, $40. That's, that's yeah. You know, yeah. It's worth, only worth $40. It's all marketing that drives the price. But, yeah, exactly. You know, this is a solid nine, nine and a half for me. Um, if you could find it more readily available, it would be a 10. But since it's hard to get, wow. knocked it down a little bit. Yeah, because you got to pay a premium to get it. Yeah. That's the problem. That was kind of why I gave it an eight. It's, it's yeah. good, but <clears throat> for as hard as it is to find that, it's not worth that. Yeah. Yeah. But. yeah. Have you had any of the uh, Whiskey Row series yet? I've not. Oh, oh, oh sure. Yeah. All right, so we just did we just did the whole series, including the Statesman, which is maybe or maybe it probably wasn't. Not but, really part yeah, of it. Yeah, but we did it anyway. Um, the 1910 was the highest rated of, that we've done on any yeah, it was. Hands down. I think it was, the lowest was like 8.5. Well, the 1910 was fantastic. I love the 1872. I remember the 1870. Yeah, yeah. Was, was almost good. as good. But, yeah. but, but I mean, both of those two, I'd stack up with damn near anything. Yeah. yeah. The 1910 was I like unbelievable. the story behind each year. Yeah. And the story kind of, makes it yeah. great. Yeah. Well, and unlike the other ones that we've all rated that high, those are readily available. You can go out and buy them yeah. right now at pretty much any decent sized liquor store. Right. So that was what we really loved about those. This, well, we got lucky that we got our hands on this at any yeah. price. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. So that's it for another week. Thanks for stopping by, good absolutely. sir. Uh, thanks, thanks for, for reading. Yeah, yeah, hey, well, absolutely. <laughs> Thank him for that. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, again, make sure you tune in each and every week. Usually comes out on Fridays where we do some bourbon sampling and we talk about Beanie Babies a lot. Uh, this is one of them. Uh, not the rarest, but it's it's up there. Um, and it, you're going to way overpay for whatever. Whenever, when you find it, you're going to way overpay for it. That's, that's just kind of how it works. But uh, but anyway, make sure you tune in each and every week. Uh, last week we did Penelope Architect. Architect, um, interesting flavoring. Uh, so make sure you tune in for that. And then I, I know we talked about the Whiskey Row series and doing a sampler. We will get to that. We'll try to do that maybe next I think uh, that's a great in idea. couple weeks. But we will do that. Uh, and then also on our Money Puzzle <clears throat> podcast, make sure you tune in each and every week on that. I believe that comes out on Wednesdays. I believe is when we post that. Um, and I'm also not over there. Yeah. yeah. If you could do us a huge favor uh, and subscribe to that, even if you don't watch, um, just subscribe to it because we're trying to reach a goal by the end of, we said, 2023. It may be 2033 by the time we get there, but uh, but anyway, we want to get to... better not be. That's true. Yeah, yeah, no we want to get to 1,000 subscribers. So we're 52, but we'll get there. Right? We'll get there. This may take a little while. We're, he's going to be 53, yeah, so we'll right. get him right after this. <laughs> uh, but anyway... That's it for another week. Uh, Eric, you want to sign us off? Yeah, and make sure you go to the Money Puzzle channel on YouTube and subscribe to that. Oh, yeah, got that. Uh, that's, you know, where we post all of our videos. So I uh, appreciate you watching. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button. See you next week. Have a good week.